taking communion on Sunday morning. Right. You know, I don't want to make a liar out of people, so I, I just stay out. You know, you do you. I, you, you yeah, yeah, you just do your own thing. Uh, yeah, okay. Not right. me. I like to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. And you're thorough. Very thorough <laughs> investigator. From, from, from what I heard, uh, Ryan, wouldn't you say she's very thorough with her investigations? Uh, yes, yeah, she takes a very hands-on approach. Right? <laughs> very hands-on approach with her uh, investigation I'm of whatever. I'm taking her confession next break, Daisy. Good. I'm taking your confession. Hey, man, I don't know if that break's going to be long enough. <laughs> yeah, it is not. So, Daisy, let me try to get to this a, a little bit. Okay, here Here's we what we have decided. <laughs> We really enjoy taking the show out and having fun and meeting <laughs> listeners and doing. And we didn't do it for St. Patrick's Day because you know we had a lot of stuff was going on and we just couldn't couldn't find a place or whatever. Or we didn't have a, just it, there was a whole bunch of reasons why we weren't able to get out for St. Patrick's Day. We missed St. Patrick's Day, so we all got together and said, "Listen, we want to get out for Cinco, right? That's that's kind of like the uh, you know the." Uh, uh, Mexican St. Patrick's Day. Right? That's you know, right. You know, it's, it's basically it's a day to drink, have fun, uh, enjoy the music or whatever. Let's let's do it for Cinco. So Cinco is on a Sunday this year. So we want to do a live show on Friday before Cinco. And my idea was this. You know, we talked about this last time. Is that there there are these uh, wait? There's one particular waitress. That's South Florida. Ma- yeah. South Florida making six thousand dollars a day doing the slap shot. Now the slap shot for those that don't know what it is. It's the craziest thing you ever saw, but men are paying, like, I think it was 30 bucks a pop for this, for a real pretty waitress or whatever, uh, to give a shot of tequila to a guy, and then she throws a whole pitcher of water in his face, and then she slaps him, and, and he's, people are paying for this. Here, here's one right here. It's on our YouTube channel. Right there. uh, there's the shot. Here comes the shot, right? And then he does the shot, and then she throws the water in his face and then slaps him. Whoa! <laughs> Did he pass out? No, nah, he's, he's playing. Exactly. He's playing. He, oh, he okay. faked it. So this girl's making six thousand dollars a day doing this, and we're like, "Wow!" I'm like, "Well, Daisy, you wouldn't mind throwing water in a guy's face, give him a shot of uh, your your tequila, That's right? right. Uh, 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 throwing water in his face and slapping him. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Oh, I would love to do that. So we could do this. Now, I talked to Amber Nova yesterday. Good. And I said, Amber Nova, if we did the Daisy uh, slap shot, would you do it? With? And she said, I would love to do it with her. Woo. So so we got two of you Yay. that would be willing to, on, <laughs> on Cinco, the, you know, the Friday before Cinco, to do slap shots for guys who are willing to donate to a charity, and we're going to talk to, uh, who we're going to talk to next? We're going to talk to uh, uh, Angelique, and if she's in town, see if she'd do the slap shot, and then... <laughs> If we can get Savannah to do it. Oh, we trying to kill people? I mean, I mean Savannah, Savannah will slap the hell out of you. I don't slap know, the face. I don't know if she'll do it, but I'll ask her tomorrow when she's in. But if we have all of our ladies doing slap shots for a charity, right, you'll provide the tequila, right? That's right. You'll provide the tequila. We do the Daisy slap shots, uh, and all the money goes to a charity. Now, here's the problem. I did one of these a long time ago, and this was a, a topless car wash that we did, and Ooh. we wanted to donate the money for breast Don't cancer. Don't get sidetracked here, Daisy. Focus. We're doing oh, an sorry. charity event. We, we wanted to donate the money for <laughs> breast cancer research, and they wouldn't take our money because it was dirty money. How is it dirty? Uh, because they were topless. I don't know. Listen, it was a problem, right? So we have to oh, find a charity that, no that has no problem taking our dirty money. <laughs> it's not our dirty money. It's not you know, dirty. We know, yeah. it, our slap shot money. Like some people might not want to be associated with us throwing I water. I can't imagine a charity uh, organization that wouldn't want an incredible donation done on hey. uh, a fun, fun Time. We'd be live on the air. Yeah. We would invite guys down to and guys men, and girls, men or women, if you want to do a slap shot, right? And we'll have it all on, on on the YouTube channel. I don't know how much money we'll raise. I don't know how many people would be willing to do it. I have no idea. That we're just throwing it up against the wall. Uh, so we got to find a place to do it at. And you have an idea, right? Yes, I do. Okay, you have an idea. Uh, uh, but what charity do you have? A particular charity that you like? Um. Well, I like a lot of charities, but. I- while we were on break, we were talking to Matt. Yeah. And Matt's church would be willing to take the money. I don't right? know if a ch- I don't know if a church would take. Uh, uh, He's the preacher. W- I mean, would Jesus be want to be a part of uh, uh, the Daisy slap shot? Uh, <laughs> he did say, "Turn the other cheek, Russ." He <laughs> said, "Turn the other cheek." And there's. It's either we're, we're either doing his church or I, I got one. It's called Angel Wings Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Where are you taking the cash to? Huh? And that's neither here nor there. No, I need to know because <laughs> maybe I can come. <laughs> 
So, yeah, so what, 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 uh, what we got, I want to I want to talk to several different charities that are are interested, and I'll let them give a pitch. Give a pitch. Why should we donate the money to uh, to your church, Matt? We have a food pantry, Russ, a very large food pantry. Last nice. year alone, we gave over seven hundred and eighty thousand pounds of food away. Um, there have been years where we've given over a million pounds of food. We help about 200 families a month, uh-huh. and uh, it, it's really cool. We've got it down to a system, and it is not something that our church— we have a small church, about 120 people. We can't afford to to do it, but there's about $5,000 a month that is spent. People donate money to, for us to buy food from Second Harvest Food Bank. We are the largest food bank in Volusia County. Uh, that's one of the agencies of, of Second Harvest. Okay, all right. So that's a, that's a possible. So you wouldn't be embarrassed by taking our, our dirty slap shot money. It, uh, Russ, I personally don't gamble. I'm against gambling. But if you hit the big one, uh, our church food pantry would gladly take your money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Um, so we'll write that down. Mm. That's a possibility. Uh, Ryan, do you have any, any? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, is there a woman's shelter we can go? Any charity? <laughs> Women oh. shelter? Aww. <laughs> Why what? you gotta go so sweet? What about the Mexican? Consulate? No, he's not trying to be sweet. He's talking about the slapping part of it. Oh, he is terrible. not trying to be. I am being he, sweet. He, he is being. He is being <laughs> as insensitive as a man can he's be. He's saying for oh. once the ladies can slap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, dude, the dude. lady slaps back. Is what, what is your What is your What is your thought process there? Tell, tell me what you're thinking about. Where? Uh, I don't know. I got into it with the Girl Scouts recently. I think I owe them money. <laughs> Girl Scouts. How in the hell does this happen to you? Do you have a charity angel that, other than Angel's Wings, which yeah. I don't think is real? It is 100% real. It's a real thing. What is it? It's a foundation for me. <laughs> yeah. Now, that wingspan? Yeah, again, okay. Angel's Wings. And, 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 and then what and I why, do. And why should we donate to Angel's Wings? So what I do is then I go out into the community. Yeah. And uh-huh. then if I see, like, if I see somebody that could use the assist, I'll help them out. You're in you know? a strip club again, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's if a, not, you know what? Uh, if not, I would. Uh, yeah, you got to help them pay for college. Exactly. Uh, the if not the, college fund. If we don't go uh, the way of uh, Matt's place, I would probably uh, reach out to uh, any of the um, uh, like the SPCAs or any of the, the oh you sure know, yeah the organizations that would help with uh, dogs oh. and uh, and go that route. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. Helping dogs. What's what's the organization uh, Laps of Love? That, well, I don't think that's a... Uh, that's not a charitable not one. A charitable. Charitable. No, I, don't oh, I thought that All was right. a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. No. Terrible. Right? Lots of love is I for we, dogs. We, I think we already went into the wave of <laughs> <laughs> the strip club, so... I, but what happened to the that's topless a, that's stuff? That's an afternoon. Can we still do that? What's that? Can we do... Oh, no, but no, maybe Amber Nova down, has... Daisy. Oh. No, no, you don't have to be topless for this. No, no I'm not going to be topless. And Amber Nova uh, won't either, and neither was Savannah. No, no, and but maybe oh, then what are we doing here? The they're, they're no, gonna, what are we, what's, what's going on here? That's can, right. Who's going to yeah. slap what? They can wear whatever they want. We oh, can't okay. have the girls get topless. Well, Angel. well maybe maybe they can dress up as superheroes like the one you made for me. Uh, well, That'd be cool. We, I, Whoa, Amber Nova yeah. always dresses up, so right? I'm sure she will. And Savannah is always dressed up in her Savannah costume. So, uh, you know, yeah. I'm okay, we got people texting in ideas for um, different uh, charities. So, for example, we have the Veterans Cemetery Restoration. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, that's a, a really good one. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is I'm I'm fascinated by this one. I want to learn more about it. But it's Jugs for Justin. <laughs> I don't. I, that seems like a very Come viable, on. Uh, viable seems like one. Need help, yeah. Yep. Jugs for Justin, yeah. Uh, there's and then again, there's a, you know, New Hope Animal Rescue, yeah. uh, Kenzie's kitten. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's code for something. <laughs> Kenzie's that's kitten. That's gonna be like your organization. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so those are some of the ones that are being text, uh, texted into us, Russ, at uh, 77031. If you have an idea from one or if you right. have a charitable organization, hit us up. Yes, if you have a charitable organization that you think Not take, going the way you wanted it to go, Russ? Th- th- no, <laughs> this is not going the way I wanted it to go. Uh, that's what, th- we're going to do this on, once again, it will be the 3rd, May the 3rd, a couple days mm-hmm. before Cinco de Mayo. We're going to do a live show on May Friday. We'll do da- 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 <laughs> Daisy's uh, Trace de Mayo. Daisy's uh, uh, like, Slapshot. A country singer. Daisy slap shot. You'll get a shot of tequila. You get water thrown in your face. And either Daisy, Amber, Savannah, or Angelique, if we can get the other three to participate, uh, will slap you in the face. And uh, how much do you have to pay if they all slap you at once? 
Oh, I don't no. think oh we, that's extra. Oh, I have yeah, a few yeah, yeah. That's I, extra. We can't all slap at the same and time. And can she slap with those nails? Absolutely. Absolutely. Of dangerous. I, I bet she can. I, of course. Let me try. You should yeah. put a glove on. Smack, smack the preacher. <laughs> <laughs> smack the preacher. Okay, really? Uh, it's a prodigy song. <laughs> I do that every day. <laughs> it does work. Ross? It does work. <laughs> See, I just did it. She just did <gasps> it. I just slapped us. Oh, slap the may preacher. the Lord forgive <laughs> me. Okay. That was a little bit bad of me. Every Wednesday night, I slap the preacher. I slap the preacher. All right, listen. Uh, we're gonna take a break. We come back. Not polish the bishop. <laughs> we're gonna do monster sports with you. Go. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the monsters of the morning. <laughs> Your 30 seconds of airtime only. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Westbound I-4 is a crash block in the left lane approaching Dirksen Drive, an accident in the right lane of the exit ramp to County Road 46A, and a crash in the right lane of the express lanes past Colonial Drive. Southbound Florida's Turnpike has a wreck involving a truck in the right lane approaching U.S. Highway 27. There's a wreck northbound on Ham Brown Road at Campbell Road and a crash on Maitland Avenue near Marion Way. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Uh, I'm going to tell you about IDC. You're going to get engaged. You, if you're going to get engaged, you're going to buy jewelry for someone. This is the place you want to go, the International Diamond Center. Here is the reason why, one of the many reasons why. The first reason why is they don't have salespeople that work on commission that try to upsell you all the time. They're going to help you find what you're looking for that's within your budget. Also, they stand behind what uh, they sell, and you can buy with confidence. And what I mean by that is when you buy there, did you know you get a 110% upgrade policy? What is that? That means let's say you buy something that's $6,000 at the International Diamond Center, and a couple years later you want to upgrade and get your girl something that's $8,000. You can trade in the first diamond, uh, and, and they'll give you $6,600 credit towards the new stone. So you just pay $1,400 for the upgraded diamond. That is a great thing, and you can do that at the International International Diamond Center. When you go to the International Diamond Center, remember this. Uh, you get free service for life on any purchase. There's no charge ever for cleaning or for sizing or for routine maintenance at the International Diamond Center. When you buy from the International Diamond Center, it's locally owned, but they've got international connections that you deserve to get the best pricing, amazing selection, extreme value at the International Diamond Center. You want more information? Go to shopidc.com. That's the International National Diamond Center. Please tell them Russ and the Monster sent you. They love to hear that. They're big fans of the show. They're awesome folks at the International Diamond Center. Uh, once again, shop online. Shopidc.com. It's the International Diamond Center. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and Dancing with the Stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties, and the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments, QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery. 
thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. ba da ba 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 But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. GimmeTheVin.com has made it fast. We've made it easy, and we're the only five-star BBB-rated car dealer out there. Sell us your car. GimmeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio! 104.1 Go on sale tomorrow for the Monster Brew Bus. Thanks to Wasi's Meat Market. Good yeah. Friday. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. Get them if you can. We're going to Brewlando Brewing. We're going to Toll Road Brewing. We're going to Claremont Brewing. And who knows what kind of stuff's going to happen on that bus. Uh, try to get on the bus if you can. We also want to thank MCA Transportation. Beautiful luxury buses. Uh, the bus we're going to be on will be beautiful. Jersey Mike's will be providing food. Thank you so much. We get to Brewlando at uh, 11.45. We get to Toll Road Brewing around 1.45 and out to Claremont at 4. And you got Russ and Bo and Ryan and Angel and Jack Bradshaw all on the bus. And who knows, Daisy Del Toro might be at one of those stops and uh, Monster Matt might be at one of those stops. Uh, and uh, we are inviting you to go to whichever stop you want if you cannot get on the bus. The bus is going to be a blast. Thank you once again to Wasi's Meat Market. Angel, what do we have going with Monster Sports? Monster Sports brought to you by Monsters.fm. To get a chance, check out the website. Now, today is opening day for baseball. Yeah, M- MLB. It's kind of snuck up on us. They just had closing day. 
That was a baseball season is long joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. I understood what you're saying. Now, the difference between baseball this year starting and last year starting is that we had the World Baseball Classic happening, and so that got us all worked up all and fired all, up. all fired up for baseball season uh, starting. This year, it seems kind of like it's kind of obviously it snuck up on us. We've already had a couple uh, games that uh, official games that counted the Dodgers playing in Korea. Those games actually counted. Those were last week. Yeah. Uh, but just a heads up on some of the names that you want to uh, keep an eye out that they've changed teams. Shohei Otani is now a Dodger. Juan Soto is a Yankee. Corbin Burns is an Oriole. Blake Snell is a Giant. Josh Hader is a, a Astro. Sonny Gray is a Cardinal. Matt Chapman is a Giant. And Reese Hoskins is a Brewer. Are the uh, I, I haven't really paid attention, but uh, the Rays, are they all pretty much the same? They're the same team? All right, so your favorites this year are going to be the Dodgers, Braves, and Astros. Contenders, Russ, are going to be Orioles, Yankees, Phillies, Rangers, Mariners, Twins, Blue Jays. No, Tampa Bay Rays weren't even mentioned. Middle of the pack is going to be the Rays. Okay. Uh, the, the Rays fall into the middle of the pack. Long shots are going to be the Marlins, Brewers, Royals, Angels, and Pirates. And they, uh, teams that are in rebuilds, uh, the Nationals, White Sox, and Rockies, and Athletics. All right. So that's, uh, again, and that's by odds makers. Those aren't, those aren't my own personal opinions, but uh, that's out there. Uh, last night with Orlando Magic, we had the uh, Golden State Warriors here in town. And, man, it's, sometimes it's just frustrating that we don't capitalize on uh, situations. Are they lost? Uh, yeah. But we we should have won this game in the sense of this. Draymond Green got kicked out in the, uh, what was it, like eight minutes left in the second quarter. I think he was arguing. 824 left in the first quarter. Draymond Green gets ejected from last night's game with the Orlando Magic, arguing fouls with the uh, referee. That's one of their main guys. They're a man down. We should have been able to cap- capitalize on that and win. If you argue a foul with a with a referee, do, do they ever go? Oh, you know, you're right. Let me let me change that. It's never, never happened in the history. Never. <laughs> so why argue the foul? They're not going to change their mind. It's it's the stupid. it's part of the game. Oh. It's really the answer. It, it's it's there to slow it down for a second. It's there. Uh, there's, I forget the actual reason is there, but in the history of baseball, no, it's never been overthrown from somebody. Or, or basketball. Up. This is basketball we're or talking football. about. Or football. I'm just saying, in the history of baseball, though, it's yes. like all of the arguments. Every time you see somebody go up to an ump, it has never once been overturned that way. Yeah. So, yeah, so last night we, uh, uh, again, and this is two home games now back-to-back that we've lost. Not again, And I and I was, weeks ago, I was telling you, that these two games coming up with versus Sacramento versus Golden State, this is a really good, good measuring stick for the team. And I know for a second there we were sitting in fourth in the Eastern Conference. Mm-hmm. These losses here at home could have, again, solidified our position. But we lost last night to the Golden State Warriors 101 to 93. Now, the Golden State Warriors are currently 38 and 34. We are 42 and 30. So, Golden State obviously needed that win a little bit more than we did, but it would have been a good look for us to uh, secure that win. All right. Um, we were talking about this, Russ. I was sharing this with you earlier. The United Football League, again, all the sporting events that are happening this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. United Football League is the new league of uh, with the XFL and USFL merging. Okay. This is the one that The Rock is a part of. So do you think it'll be uh, a much better product than the two products they had last year, two separate products? I think that's the idea. You know, if you've raised kind of the talent pool. Yeah. You know? But the first game is going to be Saturday, March the 30th. It's going to be the Birmingham Stallions versus the Arlington Renegades. Those were the two champions from their respective leagues. Damn, once again, back in Birmingham, though. That's a, it's all the games going to be in Birmingham like they were? Uh, you know what? That is a good question. I don't know I if. I hate uh, when they do that. I don't know if they're sharing the one facility. Uh, I'll have to find that like out. Every game's in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a, that's a good, uh, very good question. I'll find that out for you as we get closer <laughs> to. Um, to the game. To yeah. the game. I, I, I didn't uh, find that out. I don't know if you picked up on this, Russ, but this past week, all the NFL owners have been in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, they were changing the, NFL, the rules. The NFL meetings happened here in Orlando, Florida. They might have been going to some of our finer establishments. <laughs> Dancers. Been, yeah. You know it. Or taking limousines to Tampa. Who knows? Matt, you know? Matt was talking to me about that. He, yeah. could, he couldn't believe the NFL guys were in town. We know it's that, insane. Yeah, we know some of the owners like getting massages at places down <gasps> south. Of, you know, so that's neither here nor there. It happens. How yeah. happy mm. is that? But they did, <laughs> they did do a couple rule changes. Yeah, mm-hmm. what do you think about this? The uh, the kickoff rule. Okay, so the kickoffs will occur about 10 times every NFL game. So basically what they've done is they've adopted kind of the kickoff rule of the XFL. Right. And so they're trying to uh, basically 
uh, make that more exciting. So again. everybody is lined up down where the okay. So they kick the ball, and when the when, when the ball is caught, everyone's going to be lined up down there. This is uh, uh, to try to make it so they don't get injured and run really really fast and, and and you know slam into each other. They're trying to make them all closer together, to, so there's less injury, but still a possibility to run the ball. Right. Back. So under the new rules, the kicking uh, kicking team's kicker will continue to kick from the 34 35 yard line, but rather than be flanked by his teammates, the rest of the team will be lined up on the opponent's 40-yard line, way eliminating the traditional running head start. Right. That way, yeah. you, you less injury, but you still have an opportunity. But there's still to a possibility. So that's one of the things. I think it, it, I think it will be Again, you're trying to bring dynamic and you're trying to bring, bring intrigue to that particular play because uh, we've seen them for the last couple seasons where no one's really paying attention to that. It's almost like you could just go, you know, you could just flip a coin for it and have the other team start at the 20 kind of thing. I like this. So we'll see that. The other thing is an is um, interesting uh, tidbit that they've changed, and it's called the drop hip tank uh, tackle. Have you heard this? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No. Okay, so this is the play that took out the quarterback from FSU on the college level. Um, and I, I kind of agree with you, Ryan, in the sense that I, for the most part, I think this is a, a – a, a, a coaching thing that could be coached out of the league. So are you going to tackle somebody? And you basically drop all your, your on, on your hip, basically. Yeah, how else are you supposed to, A, tackle somebody? I mean, it's really difficult to do in, in that moment. But, B, the problem for me is, like, with the rise of gambling, adding in what is essentially a super subjective call that made by the refs, seems like it's a terrible idea. I tend to agree with you on that from that perspective. I think again, like much like what they when they were uh, having to reteach guys, and they and they still have to reteach guys uh, about head hunting and yeah. uh, and hitting high because of the risk of concussions. I think this is another element that can be uh, taught. You start, you know, you, you, obviously you start adjusting in college, and it takes a season or two by the by that time those players are in the pros. Uh, I do agree with you, Ryan, that it is a hundred percent kind of a sub- subjective kind of uh, call, yeah. but I think it empowers the referees and. It's, and then and, and that dialogue and that conversation is brought up. And so these guys are cognizant of it, not to do it because it, there's a lot of guys that they're in, they've been injured doing this and they, you know, their seasons have been cut short or whatnot. So again, it'll be interesting to see how that one develops as the season goes on. Hey, I, I know we got to go to break, but I have a, a sports thing I want to bring up when we come back. Okay. All right. All right Cause I want to bring up the Caitlin Clark thing. It, 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 it's pretty interesting. I want to see what you guys think about it. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the monsters of the morning. Alexa, can you take the dog for a walk? Ha ha ha. No way in hell. But until then, tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Westbound I-4 is a crash on the left shoulder approaching Dirksen Drive. And in the express lanes of Westbound I-4, we've got a crash in the right lane at Ivanhoe Boulevard. Another one in the right lane past Colonial Drive. Eastbound I-4 is a wreck on the right shoulder approaching State Road 429. Southbound Florida's Turnpike has a truck crash in the right lane approaching U.S. Highway 27. And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey, man, here's one of the sponsors I love telling you about. It's my friends over at Mills Air. They uh, Their commitment to making sure you don't have to pay a lot of money to get your air conditioning fixed, I think, is really a telling about this company because the owner, Leon Mills, I know the guy, and it, he, it is important to him for me to get out the word, hey, have us do maintenance on your AC so it doesn't cost people so much money to have their AC fixed. He does not like to have to go to someone's house and, man, it's going to be really expensive to fix your AC. He would much rather do maintenance on it and make sure it's good to go and that's what they do with that 30 point inspection mills air they've been around since 1992 family owned business leon mills is a great dude and uh, it's important to him that you guys call and have maintenance done especially right here before it starts getting hot right like with summer's coming up have that maintenance done now get a hold of mills air they can come out they do the 30 point inspection they'll treat you right make sure you tell them the rest of the monster sent you they'll do a great job for you they came to my house last year i bought a brand new system from them and if you're 
going to buy a brand new system, you know, get a carrier system. Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer. They know how to put it in. They know everything about it. But even with the new system, every year you have to do maintenance on it to make sure it's good, right? It's a piece of equipment. And uh, last year uh, there was a capacitor that was going bad. And uh, the, the guy came and showed me, hey, look, this is starting to spark. we got to change it out. They changed it out. I had no problem at all now with my air conditioning system. Mills Air, they've got rebates for the carrier systems. If you need a new system, up to $1,275. It's a company you can trust, and uh, it's a company I really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to tell you about. MillsAir.com. That's MillsAir.com. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m., and listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Owen. I'm a cigarette. Do you like being a cigarette? No, I don't. Not really into killing thousands of people. Sorry, no filter. Right. What's your sign? Uh, Pisces? I'm a cancer. Cigarette joke. But seriously, I do cause cancer. And heart disease. And strokes. I could go on forever. Unlike the people who smoke me. The average smoker lives 10 years less than non-smokers. Quit today. Find out how at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com it's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeda, Chief Marketing Officer of Hyundai Motor America, talks about audio storytelling. For an auto brand, a lot of people scratch their heads and say, why would you put your brand on a channel that doesn't show the sheet metal? But there's a lot we can talk about about these vehicles that gets people excited about the car. And it's more than just the sheet metal. It really is about lifestyle um, in a lot of ways. For us, it's about storytelling. That's driving a lot of brand awareness, but we can also drive a lot of intent. And that's because we can talk a lot about the features. I think we're learning that we can get a lot more from audio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all. 
from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company. iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. That's iHeartResults.com. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navaj nasal care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move to Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. What's her name? Daisy, Daisy Del Toro. She don't take no bull when she drinks her tequila. Her luck tank is full, Daisy, Daisy Del Toro. You may know her tío crazy, crazy señorita. Ay, Dios mío, Daisy, Daisy Del Toro. She don't take no bull when she drinks her tequila. Her love tank is full, Daisy, Daisy Del Toro. You may know her tío crazy, crazy señorita. Ay, Dios mío. Welcome back to the Monsters. Radio. 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 By the way, tomorrow tickets go on sale for the uh, Monster Brew Bus. We want to thank Wasi's Meat Market for making that happen. Get your tickets at 10 a.m. Welcome back. I am Russ, along with Ryan. Monster Music Man Matt's going to do a song for us here in a little bit. He's here. Daisy Del Toro, she's an actress, she's a producer, she's a, uh, what else are you, uh, uh, a director, Entrepreneur. And, yeah, and she has the best tequila you've ever had, I tell everybody that all the time, I'll go into a, a uh, you know, my favorite uh, my favorite uh, liquor store down on, uh, in Apopka, the one that we went to, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I, and people, uh, I had this happen the other day, that p- uh, someone was, you know, looking for a tequila, I'm like, you gotta go with that one, you gotta go with that one, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'm selling your tequila for you in the mm-hmm. liquor store. You're the best. And and the tequila is the best. It is pretty damn good. I, I took a long time to come up with the flavor to make, well, not the flavor, just the type. Yeah. It, and uh, I think I did good. Only the best agave plant. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And so, Angel, so in the news what today. What happened? Why are you yelling at me? Going back to sports, going in, and, and I want to see what you think about this. So, yes, I, we spoke with Ice Cube some time ago about his big three league that he he's put together. And it's been a couple years since he's been doing this big three league. It's basically three on three basketball. And uh, Ice Cube has now offered Phenom, uh, Caitlin Clark, $5 million Whoa. to play in his league. And he says, listen, the $5 million is guaranteed money. Uh, you'd have to play, I, I think it's uh, uh, eight regular season games and, and possibly two playoff games. I'll give you $5 million guaranteed money, and you still can go play for you know the women's professional league. You can still play for the WNBA, uh, but uh, but I'll guarantee you five million dollars. But she'd have to play with the guys. It, it, it's not it's not just there's not a girls league. She'd have to play with the guys. He'll give her five million dollars. If you were Caitlin Clark, would you do that? No. Nah. And tell me why. Um, at the five million dollars guaranteed. Okay, uh, I make almost that right now. If I'm Caitlin Clark, I make almost that right now in NIL money. 
I'm going to uh, name, image, and likeness. Okay. So she's in college right now, and she's making about three point five, almost four million dollars right now. Yeah. She's already making that. She's going to have her endorsements. Uh, the endorsements that she's going to have, and they're the, the ones that are waiting for her as soon as she gets to the WNBA, is going to be double that. Right now, she's at the pinnacle of her career. Yeah. Why would you open yourself up to being a gimmick? Because the because again. The three on three league. I love the league. I love Ice Cube and everything. That's a that's not professional basketball, right? And here's my thing. And, and the five million dollars is very enticing, right? And it's guaranteed and all that. Yeah. Kind of, and she can still play for the WNBA. Yeah. But and I, this is going to sound sexist, but I'm just saying, if she plays with the guys, it might ruin her her appeal of being such a. You know, what I'm saying like she might not be able to hang with the dudes. Oh, okay. I will say this, and this is the difference between playing, uh, you know, five on five basketball and playing three on three. I think that there's probably a, a former WNBA star or a former WNBA basketball player that could play in the WN or play in uh, um, Ice Cube's league, the three on three league. Right. Uh, just because the game is subtly different, and you can have a three point uh, marksman, you know, expert shooter, and you can hide them a little bit better on three on three basketball. Right. That's it's just the game is different. You're not running full court. You're, uh, you know, you're, it, it 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 lends itself to be able to to make that work. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think she, I don't think she would have to worry about not looking good. I think she would be all right. But again, for for Ice Cube, this is why you make this deal. We're talking about his three-on-three league sure. and, and, uh, during a time that we wouldn't uh, be talking about it, and it's it's out there. It's the first time a lot of people even hearing about this. Yeah, league. yeah. You know, on the national news this morning, they act like it, it, it was never around before, right? Uh, and they were describing the so it, for him, it's a great yes. offer. Yeah. That, uh, but I mean, uh, what, what do you think, Daisy? If you were Caitlin Clark, would you take the five million dollars guaranteed, <laughs> but you got to play with the guys for about eight games? I have a problem with it. You would because when I used to be a soccer coach, I I had this problem and I always became upset. So I want to answer your question, but first I'll tell you why it makes me mad. Yeah. Because if you have one man in a woman's team, it automatically becomes a men's team. Mm -hmm. But now you're gonna put one woman in a men's team. Does that automatically make it a woman's team? No. No. Why do you think that is? Well, men are more dominant in sports. Well, it's just physically. Yeah, physically. Yeah, people just, are different. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah but have not different everyone skills. is Caitlin Clark, though, Daisy. It's I mean, still, I, I feel like that's not just sexist, but it's wrong. Like, yeah. because once they start doing that, which I've had a girl in a boys team that was better than all the boys. So she very well could. Let's say she does take this five five million dollars, and she goes and she plays on the three and three, and she kills it. Like she still proves that she is. I mean, that even makes her more valuable, a bigger deal. So it could uh, work for her the other way. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I agree. I just feel like once that starts happening, then it, or continues happening because it's happening in other sports too, right? Yeah. Yeah, but um, the other part about it is this: is that like she's not going like again. She's the youngest one in the league. She's the one that's just coming out of college. Not, not dissing all these guys, but she's going to be able to run circles around some of these guys. You think so? Yeah, th- dude, they're not th- – none of these guys – None of these guys are playing in the NBA. Okay, all right. You know, hey, Ryan, what do you think? Do you think it. if you're Caitlin Clark, would you take this $5 million guaranteed money and you could still play for the WNBA, but you got to play with the guys? If you were Caitlin Clark, would you take this deal? No. No, it doesn't sound like a good like forward move for it. Sounds more like a win for for Ice Cube for sure. If you get that name recognition, because he's trying to do everything to make that league happen. But Caitlin Clark, I, I she she still has another year where she could do college, right? She she's could not going she to. could put, she could have a run, but she already uh, stated that she's going to go to the WNBA. The team oh, that she's going to go to dumb. is going to be the team is the team in Indiana. Indiana's is probably the crappiest team there. They've are their ticket sales have already gone through the roof. Yeah, she's t- going to be the number one pick. But she's, can't she make more in college? Just she's going to get a max contract in uh, in in the WNBA, which so, is not which is like thirty thousand dollars. It's nowhere near five million dollars. No, no, it's 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 all it's uh, almost eighty eighty five thousand dollars a year. So you, yeah, it's you nothing, yeah, yeah. But if you get a five year deal, three year deal, then it's a, you know it's a little yeah. bit of money. But she, she, her money comes from 
her endorsements. That's I, where I think I wouldn't want to be made the spectacle of exactly. it. And that's where you're at if you go to the Ice Tea, uh, the Ice Cube League. I always get my my ices mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're oh, let's see if this how this girl's gonna play. That, right. That's what. It is. And you're kind of the the gimmick. Man, I disagree. I think you want to be the gimmick. Yeah. I think for eight games, five million dollars. What in the world does she have to lose? I, to me, I her think injury. It's a, she could get injured. Yeah, that's with what playing with guys who get, are super yeah, aggressive. But she could get injured yeah. in in the WNBA. But to me, this is this is more uh, more spotlight on her. I think the I think guys are a little more aggressive. They're going to bump into her. Gonna, I wouldn't worry about that in the three on three league. Not in the three on three league. Like you got to watch the game. It, the, the, this type of game. It's a different type of basketball. It's not five on five. You're not running full court. Uh, you're three on three. I, I've I've played basketball with uh, women on three on three teams, you know, okay, okay. And, they, and they handle their own, you know. So I, in that specific regard, Russ, I think this of all the versions of basketball that would be suited for a woman to play, um, I, this would be I think she could slide in here and she would do. I, I have no doubt that she would do fantastic in this league. Um, thanks to the textures that are hitting us up. I wasn't aware of this. They already have a couple of WNBA uh, women that are uh, head coaches in that league. So that, uh, that's you know a pretty neat thing to hear. But again, like what Ryan is saying, at this point in her career, contrary to uh, what you're saying, Matt, I don't think she needs to be the spectacle. She's already the superstar. She like she's going to be the face of the league. She's going to have she's going to have her own line of sneaker. She's going to ha- she's going to have endorsements where she is the face of these products. Right. And right now, and at this point in her career, she's bigger than that league. Yeah, I think that's why I feel that way, Angel. I think uh, I th- I'm looking at it like strike while the iron's hot. I don't know that this offer comes to her in a few years. I think now that she's the one that everyone's talking about as far as women's basketball, I say you do it eight games, five million bucks, and then go into the WNBA. I don't know. That's just, I, yeah. but again, you know. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious what I, 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 as she if she hasn't said one way or the other if she's entertaining this. Well, right. here, so here's the the little details about that. So that offer wasn't meant to get out yeah. uh, into the public. Oh. She uh, she posted that on her uh, social media. And the other part about it is this, Russ. And again, now not a diss to Ice Cube. He, he's trying to build that league and he's been doing very well. Uh, but there are questions if uh, that league is financially solvent enough to make a five million dollar commitment. Oh, to I her. bet he's got the money. He's got that kind of cash. He can- Oh, so you're saying for, to stroke it out of his own bank account as opposed to the league that he's trying to build? Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't do that. I mean, this this is putting his this Ice putting Cube his is notoriously the- notoriously uh, uh, frugal. He doesn't pay. Oh, really? Yeah, he d- doesn't pay his guys in movies. He doesn't. He's very, 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 very frugal. I would. I would be shocked if he was offering that out of his own money. All right. Well, okay. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. All right. Listen. In the next segment, we're going to do raw calls. That means we're taking your phone calls right off the right off the the line. It's not going to be screened, which means you cannot curse and you also uh, can't be on uh, speakerphone, please. But here's the question. And I'm not going to I'm not going to steer this one way or the other. I'm asking you the question. I want to hear what people think uh, in general. Is it wrong for Donald Trump to sell Bibles that have? Uh, <laughs> Uh, that have uh, you know the whole Bible in it, Good right? Lord, it's, a, it's the J- it's the James King version. Uh, with yeah, the James, James King version. King James, yeah. Yeah. that guy. The James Brown version. James Brown version. <laughs> uh, with uh, the Constitution in it, it's got the Bill of Rights, it's got the oh. Declaration of Independence in it, uh, and it's got the Pledge of Allegiance, and it also has the words to God bless the USA from Lee Greenwood. Uh, is it right or is it wrong to sell the Bible with your name on it for sixty bucks? I'm just curious of what our listeners think. The telephone number is 407-916-1041. I will let you talk and you tell me. I just I want to see what you think. Is it Donald Trump now has the Bible? It's got his name on it and everything. It's got the Constitution in it. It's got the Bill of Rights. It's got the Declaration of Independence. It's got the Pledge of Allegiance. And it's got the words to God bless the USA from Lee Greenwood all combined into one. You can buy it for 60 bucks. He makes profit on the good word. It's his favorite book. And it's his favorite book. That's and, what he said. And I want to know no. what you guys Yeah, he did think. say that. He said it's his favorite it's book. It's his favorite book. He reads it all the time. Uh, Russ, what do, you, what do you say if uh, you go for the trifecta and you get the, the sneakers, the Bible, 
and the cologne. How much would that cost? I don't know. I don't know. Now, I will say this. My favorite, Your soul. One of my favorite bands, uh, Striper, they have a Striper Bible, but they give those out. They throw those out at concerts, and there are people that have problem with that. Uh, you're a pastor. What do you think about Striper? Striper, I am fully in support of their of them throwing out Bibles. Okay, this so free, Trump free, thing, well, hold, I on, hold on, hold let's, on. Let's, let's, I want the listeners. I want to, I'm not going to hey, guide. You got the preacher fired up. You got to let them talk. Man, preacher man, hold Come on. on. Preacher. Yeah. I'll let I'm going to hold back. I'll, I'll let hold you back. speak. I want to hear the, what the listeners think first. I'm not going to guide the, inf- I'm not guiding the conversation. It's a question for the audience. Is it wrong or is it right for Donald Trump to sell a Bible that's got all that wonderful information in it? It's all, I mean, it's all in one, you know, it's in one source. Yeah. One source. I yeah. mean, if you wanted the words to God bless the USA, you got it in the Bible now. Boom. Uh, if, if you, if, is that right or wrong to make a profit off the word of the Lord? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll churches do that. Uh, 407-916-1041. <laughs> hey. We'll take your phone calls when we come back. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Magic dropped their second straight, losing at home to the Warriors, who played most of the game without veteran Draymond Green. He was ejected in the first quarter. The Magic couldn't take advantage. Next game for the Magic tomorrow at home against the L.A. Clippers. Opening day in baseball is here. The Marlins open at home against Pittsburgh, and the Rays will welcome Toronto. The college basketball coaching carousel spinning Florida Atlantic hiring Baylor assistant John Jacobs to replace Dusty May. I'm Matt McCoy. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar and Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation. And take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive and everything turns out great on the big green egg if you don't have one you got to go to washi's meat market and get a big green egg they have the lowest prices in the country they also have all the accessories everything that you need they have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well when you get the big green egg from washi's meat market there's a lifetime guarantee so check them out it's washi's meat market check them on instagram or go to their website washi's meat market.com in melbourne on Wickham Road, it's Wassie's Meat Market. Do you have information about a violent crime? Help solve crimes with your anonymous tips at Crimeline.org. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Your tips make a difference. Say it here, it's anonymous at Crimeline.org. Paid by CSTF. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. R.C. Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Steve Steve Kramer here with the divorce tip. Inheritance isn't a marital asset unless you handle the money wrong or your divorce wrong. Then you can lose it to your ex. Call Trendley and Kramer, TK Law. We do divorce. One firm for life. 
Imagingfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamilyfamily
which oh, is uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> which is weird, right? Uh, the old six 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 pops up, but um, yeah. So right, wrong? Is it blasphemous? Is it okay? Look, other places sell Bibles. Well, well, so well, why can't Donald Trump sell them for sixty bucks? I want to know what you think. 407-916-1041. Hey, you're on real radio with the monsters. Who's this? Dan. Hey, buddy, what's up? What do you think about uh, the Donald Trump Bible? He is America. He, you can, any idiot can sell any crap on the street they want to. So you're okay with it? Uh, well, but the, the real question is, is it bad taste for me to burn it right afterwards? <laughs> oh, man. That's a good question. 407-916-1041. That's legit. I think that might be bad taste, but uh, you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Good morning, Russ. This is Charles. Hey, Charles. Uh, I- I was just hearing you guys talking about this Bible thing, and I thought the only way that I would buy the Bible is if he has to read it out loud in an audio book, and that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, no, that's just silly. Is it I mean, poor, why, why bother? Is it poor pandering. taste? Is it poor taste, or is it okay? Absolutely, it's pandering. Come on, there. Matt, sir, of ain't we talking about this. Thank you so much. 407-916-1041. Find out what you think about the Donald Trump Bible. Who's this? Hey, it's Loki. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> a great day. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'd buy that just to have it. That's a collector's item. So you'd, you'd buy it. it just, you'd buy it just to have it. You don't think it's uh, poor taste or you know classy, not classy. You just you'd buy it just to have it as a collector's item. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, think about it. In history, when has anything like this ever happened? Good point. 407-916-1041. Your feelings on the Donald Trump Bible. We're just taking your opinion right off the uh, And that's the board. why I'll never throw out my Hitler cookbook. <laughs> 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 Say what you want uh, about the guy, but the guy can make a broad word. You're, uh, Dude, n- not, no. you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Ovens. Hello? One, two, three? No. Okay. Hey, you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Oh, damn. I got scared. Hey, you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Lines open. Lines are open. 407. Uh, my name's Dana. Dana, what's up, buddy? What do you think about Donald Trump selling the Bible that's got the Constitution in it, Bill of Rights, uh, Declaration of Independence, uh, the, the uh, Pro- Pledge of Allegiance, and the words to God bless America, or I'm sorry, God bless the USA uh, from uh, Lee Greenwood. Is it tacky? Is it okay? Is it a, a great way to raise money? What do you think? Uh, personally, I think it's absolutely wrong and sinful for him to do so. Uh, he's nothing but a bloviated, self-promoting person, never shown any interest at all in caring for his fellow man. Okay, thank you, sir. 407-916-1041. I like that word, bloviated. Hey, you're on Real Radio 104.1 in the Monsters. Who's this? This is Andy. How are you doing today? Hey, Andy, what do you think, buddy? Hey, buddy, I think that uh, the original salesman for Bibles started 2,000 years ago. Yeah. We'll keep it going. So keep it going. You got no problem with it. Okay, 407-916-1041. Yeah, you're on with – well, I didn't get that one. Let's go to this one. Hey, you're on Real Radio on the Monsters. Who's this? Hey, this is Andrew Sutherland. Yeah, buddy, what's going on? What, What do you think? Yeah, so honestly, man, think about it, right? This is a guy who's always been in trouble with everything financially. He's being sued for $454 million. Uh-huh. He's selling Bibles. Like, how bad is that? Come on. So you, like, th- you think should not be falling you that. think it's tacky? It's bad. It's the most tackiest thing I've ever seen a person do, let alone a presidential candidate. Gotcha. All right. 407-916-104. Once again, these are not being screened. I'm just taking folks' opinion right off the, uh, the board here. Hey, uh, you're on Real Radio 104.1 <laughs> on the Monsters. Who's this? This is John out in D land. Hey, what do you think, bud? I think I think it's funny. It's absolutely hilarious. And anybody who buys one of those thinks it's gonna be a collectible is a joke because I've got and actually I got a couple of things like a Trump airplane from his first bankrupt with Trump Airlines and I've got a few <laughs> other things. But when he goes bankrupt, it costs the taxpayers money and nobody's talking about it. they're all like, Oh, there's no victim. See, there's no victim. BS. We're paying every time this man bankrupts. And when these Bibles go bankrupt, which they will, and it's gonna be even funnier, I'm just gonna sit back and say I'm glad I'm too old to worry about it. Well, and then you're, but then you'll have a nice little Bible you put on the shelf that uh, you can read. Right and, next and, to the plane. And if you don't know the words that God bless the USA, you know where they are in the Bible. Hey, uh, you're on uh, Real Radio with the Monsters. Who's this? 
Uh, this is Bruce. Hey. Uh, Donald, uh, I just want to say it, it's one of the best books that I've never, ever read. But I think everyone should buy at least 14 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, you're on the real on the... Uh, uh, is you there? No, yeah. Sure. Hey, buddy, what's up? Yes. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Ann, and I think it's hypocritical. Uh, I'm not supposed to judge, but I don't think he's a follower of Christ, and it's embarrassing for me as a Christian that he's doing that. Oh, it embarrasses you. Okay, all right, just curious what people think. 407-916-1041. Hey, you up? You hung up. I get scared. Hey, you're on Real Radio on the Monsters. Who's this? Yeah, this is Bill. Hey, Bill, what's up? What do you think about the Donald Trump Bible? Good, bad, you don't care? What What do you think? Look, uh, so I put my butt on the, my ass on the line for, for this country, and basically he can do anything he wants. The only problem I have is, is he ought to read the damn thing before he does anything else. Have a good day, Russ. Y'all do a good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 407-916-1041. Hey, uh, you're on Real Radio and the Monsters. Who's this? Hey, Russ, it's Pat the Plumber. Hey, Pat, what's up, buddy? What do you think about the Donald Trump Bible? I think it's great that the Rangers clinched first place and are in the playoffs for the NHL Stanley Cup. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. Leave leave it to Pat not to stay on topic. (laughs) Hey, uh, Real Radio and the Monsters, who's this? I like Pat the Plumber. Hey, you're on Real Radio. Who's this? Speedy Weenie. Hey, hey, Speedy (laughs) Weenie, what's up, buddy? What do you think about the Donald Trump Bible? It's wrong on so many levels. What happened to separation of church and state? You have the Declaration, the Constitution, and a Bible. Uh, and why is Lee Greenwood in there? <laughs> that's Next a good time question. I see Trump, I'm going to throw a Bible at him. That's, yeah, that's not that, even the best America song. <laughs> that's that, well, I love that song, but it, it doesn't belong in the Bible. I don't think. And, that, and if I were a Jewish American, or if I were an American who is a uh, uh, Muslim or something like that, you're right. It, it, it seems I don't think a lot of Jews are going to buy this Bible now. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, oh man! <laughs> you know, you didn't think about this when it comes to marketing wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, you happen to be a, a minister, a pastor, a uh, are you a, what's the actual term? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pastor. Technically, I'm a reverend, but I don't like that title. All right. So you being a, a pastor, what do you think about the former president of the United States selling a Bible uh, that's got you know some important information? And it does got the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the words to God bless the USA by Lee Greenwood all packaged into one little once you pay for tax and everything $66.06 what do you think? Russ I can't say enough bad stuff about this not only (laughs) separation of church and state uh, Christian nationalism uh, there's so many things that I Russ I actually am like an actual pastor and and this is there's nothing against people like Daniel or your wife or other people that have done like Universal Life Church or whatever I've I've actually have a master's degree working on a doctorate. I had to go before a panel of, of five ministers and answer a, a whole bunch of questions. Just I I had to do a lot just to get where I am. Yeah. The pay cut that I take, be, this is something that I put my life on. I don't get super religious on the show, but this is what my life is about. And for him to take this and make it so trite or whatever. It even bothers me that he's doing it with the King James Version because the only reason he's doing that is it's in the public domain, right. and then he doesn't have to pay for the rice, so he makes more money. This is it's ridiculous, Russ. So it yeah, angers me. So, you, so if I got you that for Christmas, you're not down with that? Russ, I would re-gift it. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you what. Let me He's tell you. a real pastor if he says re-gift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're on with the monsters. Uh, who's this? This is Carrie. Carrie, what do you think about the Donald Trump Bible? Will you be buying one? I'm not. I think it's vain. I think he's being idolized. And most of what everyone else said about this being hypocritical, it is so close to being antichrist. And I'm ashamed as a Christian as well. All right. Now, listen, I did that on purpose, just so the listeners know. I took the, these were unscreened off the board just from our listeners' opinions, because I know people are going to be like, oh, you're mm-hmm. anti this, and they're going to whine and cry, and cry and complain. Obviously, <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. It's the, probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. Uh, and and the, throw in, <laughs> the throw in the Lee Greenwood <laughs> song, that part makes me laugh. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, because they, they could have yeah, also thrown been in. Kid Rock. Well, they could have thrown in, uh, you know, uh, God uh, gave rock and roll to you by Kiss. But, but the only reason he did it, Russ, is that's what he walks up on stage at all the rallies, is the Lee Greenwood song. I know. I 
All right. Well, there you go. When we come back, it's time for the King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily proclamation. Ooh. You're listening to the Mantra of the Morning. That's my favorite. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is slow from U.S. 27 to State Road 429 from Osceola Parkway past State Road 535. And westbound I-4 still has some slow traffic between Fairbanks and Anderson. They cleared the earlier crash in the express lanes. Westbound also slows from the beach line past Central Florida Parkway. Southbound Florida's Turnpike has a truck crash in the right lane approaching U.S. Highway 27. And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Cash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to RealRadio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats, tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Beauty and GMC, East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Here at Massey, we've seen the damage termites can cause. That's why we've protected homes from termite damage for almost 100 years. Our termite protection program doesn't just protect your home from termites, it gives you peace of mind. That's why our termite protection guarantee covers your home and all the things in it. When we protect against termites, we protect families. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. Hey, baseball fans. Did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this, the protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mac credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4-124. Stock it with a shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Duncan McGuire! 
Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 30th at 7.30 p.m., taking on the New York Red Bulls. Join us at Intern Co. Stadium for Kids Night Out that will be full of mascots, video games, cartoons, and outright silliness as we celebrate the next generation of MLS fans with a special night dedicated to our youngest fans. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Mr. and Mrs. Flavor, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. I'm Barry. I'm the flavor of Barry. I'm Janet. I'm bitter. You wanted to talk about your son. He's the flavor menthol? Yes. He's the menthol in a menthol cigarette. He's such a disappointment. Out there getting people addicted. Being used by big tobacco to target black people. He could have been a lozenge. Menthol cigarettes are just as addictive as regular cigarettes and harder to quit. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. I'm Katie. I was in a bad car accident. I woke up in the hospital six weeks later. My husband called attorney Glenn Klotzman. I met with Glenn. He said he would take care of everything, just keep healing. I feel blessed he was there to help. I'm doing well. I'm so thankful Glenn Klotzman was there for us. The results he got for us were way more than expected. He's more than an attorney. He's a friend. Call him at 407-917-1718. K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N law.com. Office Winter Park. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now, available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Hey, so if you weren't able to. Yeah. Get up with the monsters in the morning. If you weren't able to get into raw calls and get your raw call in, uh, you can always leave us a message all morning long and talk about whatever you want. You don't have to talk about the Bibles. You can talk about whatever it is uh, by leaving us a message. Go to the iHeartRadio app. You click on the microphone, and you can leave us a message, and we'll play those a little bit later on in this hour. And remember, if you have a smart speaker, you can tell any smart speaker to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. It'll pop it on for you. And I know that we've had had, uh, some problems with the YouTube channel today because our Internet keeps going out. It's been weird all day, man. Uh, It's happened on this end too yeah so if, you know you got to kind of re-sign up or re-click in to thank you guys to, for doing that thank you for uh for keeping with us though because we've had a, a lot of folks all day long on the youtube channel probably because matt's so beautiful Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, uh, then we got uh, Daisy Del Toro. Well, there's too, there's so her, too. That probably Russ. helped, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got Angel. a new shirt. And Angel's looking pretty hot. Yeah. But, uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. But He's that, been blurry all morning, so YouTube can't even see him. Well, uh, I mean, someone else has been drinking tequila, and she's been blurry all morning, if you know Hell what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much tequila have you had? Only one mm. and a tiny bit. Uh, okay, <laughs> I was going to say, I know it was more. You got uh, another one of those? Uh, now, now it's time for the <laughs> King, of, shot? King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily proclamation. Oh, yeah, this is my part. Oh, goodness. Part? <laughs> I do not approve of this. <laughs> yeah. Daisy, no. Da- yeah, there, da- it is. there it is. Wait, well, I can do it with this now. No. Oh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. 
daily proclamation from the king of the Danish nation. Let's all wave our wings at the KODs. Nutters. <laughs> king of Denmark brought to you by that mortgage guy Don and that mortgage guy Don.com. But more on that later. Proclamation. <laughs> If you invite me to your wedding, yeah. oh, this is good. I'm going. Okay, I know that a lot of people send out invites and they expect like, and I learned this from my own wedding. You you really get back. Uh, generally, it seems to be about like sixty percent yeses. Like a lot of people say no. I was really surprised by that. And then talking to other people, they're like, yeah, everybody doesn't always say yes. It's it, it's more than you think it is. And I'm like, oh, because every wedding I've been invited to, I say yes and then I go. Even like listeners. If a listener invites me to the wedding, I'll go to the wedding. We, we, Mary Ellen and I have gone to three different listeners where we didn't know them mm-hmm. from Adam, but they were, they were like, we want you guys to come. One time we drove up to Birmingham, Alabama yeah. to go to a wedding, and it's been some of the most fun experiences because we didn't know any of the people right. there, so we didn't care if we danced and got drunk. It didn't matter. Mm-hmm. We don't know these people. Weddings uh, are so fun. fun. Weddings yeah. are the best. That's why Russ keeps having them. They're like, <laughs> they're, oh, damn. They are, like, so fun. It's the only time you get to, like... <laughs> Go wild as an adult, really. It's that and maybe like a cruise ship every so often. But like, uh, so my buddy, my buddy Sean, who I used to do the podcast with, uh, Legends of Pregame, rest in peace. Um, he, he, he died. Dead. Sean died. Oh, the podcast died. Oh. oh. So Sean. Uh, well, I don't mean to be disappointed that Sean's not dead. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. He's a, he's a very nice guy. He's a very funny Irishman. And so he calls me up and he's like, hey, uh, I'm, get, I'm getting married. I'm like, oh, cool. Congratulations. And, and he's like, yeah, they, but it's going to be a destination wedding. Oh. And I'm a, and I, you know what? Those are expensive. I, I'm racist. And I assumed Ireland right out the gate. And I wow. shouldn't have That's done that. That's not racist. Uh, and he's like, he's like, he's like, it's destination wedding. Actually, it's going to be in Argentina. Nice. Yeah. I'm now, planning a trip to Argentina. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I've never been to Argentina. They got buildings there. They Do they? Wow. Yeah, they got buildings and <laughs> roads. I wow. And they have huts and stuff. I didn't yeah. know. And Nazis. some of the hottest women on earth. Yeah. Because my thing is, like, I like to take a big vacation once a year. I save up for it. I plan around it. And in the last couple of years, I've been going to Germany. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to Germany again. So I want to, now this time if I go, I'm going to where the Germans went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like Germany light. Yeah. Uh, there's a full German town. Yeah, in have you seen the images yeah. from that place? <laughs> yes. It's very weird. Uh, and they don't like to talk about it that much, but I'm go. So I think, honestly, when he called me and told me, I think he was doing the polite invite. Oh, he didn't think you would take him up on it. I don't think he did. Oh. Because I immediately go like, oh, I'm down. And he goes, and he was kind of taken aback. And like, I was oh, like, really? you put him on the back foot of right off the bat. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, I would go. I mean, I, I and, and he's like, I'm like, when is it? He's like, it's November. I'm like, perfect. That's when I always take my vacation. <laughs> so this would be the real test. He calls you back. He's like, actually, we're not going to go to Argentina. We're going to uh, 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 Brazil. Uh, uh, Greenland. Still going. <laughs> <laughs> There's really not a place you could say where I wouldn't go. You know uh, what I mean? Like, I, I, I like going to Singapore. Going. We're taking wow. a trip to South Korea. Going. <laughs> Russia. Not going. <laughs> How are the hospitals? <laughs> I, I, I found the one I'm not going to. How's the hospitals in Argentina? Uh, I, Amazing. Bueno. You should see the work that comes out of those hospitals. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, okay, I don't know a lot about Argentina, the country. I know there's a whole thing with the Falklands at one point, uh, but that wasn't us. That was the UK. Yeah. I Ryan, did. you're going to fall Falk in Island. love with Argentinian barbecue, the, their version of it, the way that they grill, the way that they okay. do uh, though uh, The chori pans is a, a, like an incredible sandwich that they make. Um, you're, that part of it, I think you will uh, entirely dig. Okay. I'm excited. I've, I've only known one Argentinian dude in my entire life like i used to i used to work with him his name was nico and he was the most interesting person i've ever met and he would tell me things about argentinians that would like kind of surprised me Uh, like what well i I guess they're a very cocky people (laughs) that's latin america that's an understatement okay but see you agree he he would always say like the joke i don't know why he always sounded russian but when i do this impression (laughs) of nico this is like it's spot on he always sounded like this he's like you forgot to see ryan uh, Argentinians think the sun rises for them, and it, and he was like uh, very like kind of like cavalier about it. He's like, yes, we we do think we are the best ones. 
And they I'm like, do. oh, that's very interesting and cool. So I, I, I'm hoping for a bunch of super confident people running around. So it's fascinating, that aspect, oh, when it comes to uh, Latin America, right? And so uh, there is that element with Argentina. But, like, you know, you could go to Colombia or you can go to Venezuela and you can go to some of these, you know, you could go to Puerto Rico and you're going to hear guys or people that kind of, feel that way there's a thing about like that latino blood poppy that we just we are the s not, okay not all of them but let's listen i've had a lot of friends that are argentinians and you are correct they are even worse than puerto ricans i'm just gonna say it <laughs> yes i think puerto ricans might be number two on the list argentinians are number one what and then causes Columbia that why why argentina i, I wonder um, I, they are a beautiful people they think they're elite in beauty mm. wealth knowledge <laughs> Can I say sex? Oh, sure. I oh, said it. Yeah. oh yeah, I just said it. <laughs> You've been saying it all morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, there's nothing more quintessential Daisy yeah. than that sentence right there. Yeah. On the air. Can I say sex? I've been saying it all morning. I just said it. <laughs> yeah, I've never and I've never like spent time. So I've, I'm planning to do like obviously the wedding's like a day, but I want to do like a week down in Argentina. You're gonna have fun. And I've never been. I've never actually been and hung out in South America before. That's near the equator, right? Yes. But people from Argentina look a lot like you. They look yeah. like me? Yeah. It, is it the German thing? Yeah. I think so. Really? Yeah, 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 I, I, yeah, yeah. I thought they looked more like you. I thought no. they, were, they were, no. were the black hair. No. Uh, no. Argentinians, Argentinians look, look a lot look, like him. Look very, if, very. If they live near the equator, I would think they would have darker skin. Wow. Okay. No. What? <laughs> What? That is the human nature, guys. Is that's not racist? And people that live on the equator hey, are darker Russ, skin Russ, people. It's not. I'm not saying that it was racist. <laughs> it's just saying he just told you at the very beginning of this that a, a large migration of German people have gone to Argentina. There is a city, there is a town in Argentina that if I was to take you and drop you there, you well, would think that you were in Germany. That's bad for their skin, you know. No. <laughs> they're, 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 they're the equator. <laughs> no, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm excited. So, like, don't, don't not invite me to something. I, like, I, I, I hate when people do that. A lot of people do that. They give you, like, a, like a, like what a is friendly that called? pity. Inv- like, I don't know. Now, what is that move? Because you're right. People do that. They'll give you that, that casual invite that they you, they do not they don't mean it so yeah. they're i guess what trying to be polite like i invited him and he, uh, yeah. and he said yes yeah he had to go home to his wife and go guess what i told ryan and hey they're coming yeah <laughs> he, he also did that movie he was like are you sure you don't want to check with your wife first before saying oh! yes i'm like no oh, oh yeah <laughs> i'm right. like no i mean he's like well it's, you know it's gonna only be a small wedding it's only like 60 people and i'm like well now it's 62 baby that's right you need two more plates <laughs> yeah now he's gotta worry about you <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and you better check out the hospitals in uh, Argentina. Uh, like, medicine in um, Argentina is fantastic. Every time you go anywhere, you end up in the hospital. I'm hoping to now at this point. Like, I'm starting my whole YouTube channel about hospitals around the world because I do find it interesting. Because I'll tell you what, Russ, so far, it's been better every time. Yeah. Over there, you're going to come back looking better in tight jeans. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your fashion. You're going to kick up your fashion. going to come very uh, Euro. Oh, Argent- dude, the Argentinian shoe game oh, boom. is on yeah. point. Yes. I will say that. They got. They rock some shoes down there that's like like nice nice are you gonna get a little something done while you're there maybe a little, yeah. a little tuck a little, you know, uh, a little tighten up the eyes it's funny you say that because i have been ever since <laughs> Well, now, now, okay, that feels oh, mean. Is that a that feels so, yeah. You know what, Ryan, I, I, Ryan, ask, Ryan, Ryan, I apologize. That's not where I was going. Calf and plants, too? No, ask him for, ask him for the pot belly special. <laughs> I don't have a pot belly anymore. Ask him for the pot belly I almost have an ab now. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sure. working on it. Uh, lift your shirt. Let's see. I, I will. No, Let's see. Not ready yet. Right. Yeah, you no, almost did it. Come on. Yet. It's not ready, ready yet. I will release my before and after picture at some point. But I've been trying. I've been working hard. And I'll be ready to go by this wedding while I'll look fantastic it's gonna be so much fun yeah and uh so it shall be well i mean oh, people, damn. People, yeah i guess so it shall be i guess i don't get to do a segue today sorry that mortgage guy don from that mortgage guy don.com his, but, pot, his pot belly got in the way yeah i'm sorry you know what's bigger than my pot belly what uh what? inflation rates oh yeah <laughs> But you don't have to worry about that with that mortgage guy Don for that mortgage guy Don.com because he's a mortgage wholesaler. He passes the savings along to you and he has over a thousand five star Google reviews. Okay, that's a lot of five stars. And uh, I definitely gave it one because working with him was awesome. So if you're looking to do a traditional mortgage, a HELOC, a refi, whatever it may whatever it may be, don't miss the boat. Get the quote at that mortgage guy Don.com. And now 
So it shall be. All right, listen, when we come back, uh, uh, Daisy Del Toro has has shakers. She's got uh, she's got all kinds of stuff. She's yeah, gonna, she does. She's going to dance, and she's going to perform as uh, M- Music Man Matt has a song uh, to present for you. So you're going to want to watch it all live on our YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. They've been rehearsing and uh, and ready for this song. Now, is it is it you and Ryan? Or is yes. It just you? Oh, you and Ryan. Yeah, we formed a band. Oh, my God. And with Daisy uh, doing. Daisy uh, on the shakers. On the shakers. Shakers and shaking it for you. Yeah. <laughs> alive on our YouTube channel. So we will do the song when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don.com. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Watch out for bumper-to-bumper traffic due to an accident on Florida's Turnpike southbound before U.S. 27 exit 285. Traffic is backed up from Leesburg Main Toll Plaza. There's an accident off to the left shoulder on I-4 westbound before Longwood Rest Area causing a bit of congestion. Travel with caution through there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ah, you know what? I am so glad. It's been a year now, and I can go swimming in my pool anytime I want. Now, before, I couldn't because the water was always too cold. It was like June before uh, it felt good enough for me to get in the pool. Not anymore. Solar Source has solar energy heating my pool, and I got to tell you, I love it. I went in just yesterday uh, because the the, the temper is, temperature is always right thanks to Solar Source. I've got solar energy keeping it nice and warm. They also did a switchover for me, and everything is uh, – the I use salt water which feels so much better, so much healthier for you. And they did it all in one package, which was great, and you can do the exact same thing. You'll love working with Solar Source. They've been around for a long time now, and they have a special package. Uh, if you let them know Russ Rollins sent you, you're going to save more money if you go to solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. There's a lot of reasons why it's great to have solar energy keeping your pool warm. Uh, you can do nighttime pool parties. You can sit out in the pool. Like my wife and I will sit up and watch uh, movies in the pool like at night. Uh, it, it's really, really, really nice. You will love it. You can also do a pay-as-you-go plan so you can start small and build it up if you need to. Solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. If you're sick of having this pool that you can't use all year round, get this uh, solar energy package. It really is great. Solarsource.com slash monsters. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Are you getting a nice tax refund this season? Even if you're not, grow your money and earn up to 5% annual percent yield on a 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate from my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union. This is Mike Bianchi with three Central Florida locations, Suncoast makes it simple for you to become a member and open a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to suncoastcreditunion.com to learn more. And remember, with Suncoast, you always get more love and less fees. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and closeout pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click orlandonissan.com. Home of the lifetime I'm warranty. See you for details. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. 
I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park, and apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 15276. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Did you know that uh, Argentina is the one that named the equator because it's so close to there? Because it's right over their head. <laughs> Did you know that? Wow. Uh, Russ, I don't think you know where Argentina is. <laughs> Welcome back yeah. to the Monsters of the Morning, Real Radio 104.1. I'm Russ Rollins, along with Angel and Ryan, and uh, we got Daisy Del Toro here with us today. By the way, your new movie, uh, uh, or you've got a movie you can see on Amazon right now. What's the name of it? Melt on This. Melt on This. You go home right now, and, and you watch, and you pull up on Amazon, and you put Melt on This. Uh, do you, do you type in Daisy Del Toro or just melt on this? Just melt on this and you, it comes right You can up. watch one of your movies. That's right. 
right. Very nice. Okay, so I and, typed in Daisy Del Toro. It came right up. To be honest with you, I, yeah, I, I, I watched up. it the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah, they do come up. Okay. Oh yeah. What would you think of it? You never even said anything. Hey, we got to do a song, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the yeah, song. Yeah, Thank you. That's what he thought about it. He's like, okay, we're gonna. So <laughs> I only um, saw your first movie. So <laughs> and it was my friends are in it, and it's weird for me to watch like people I know. Like that's why like my buddy Adam Murray's like in Ghostbusters right now. He's in a bunch of stuff, but every time he comes on the screen on anything I watch, I'm like. Well, I'm out. That's just Adam Murray. You know what I mean? It's yeah. weird. Hey, so, uh, and Monster Music Man, Matt is here. So on the way in, uh, for those that don't know, we do five hours. So, so we started this at 6 o'clock in the morning. And at 6 o'clock in the morning, I was talking about how uh, I did my, and I know this sounds, I know it, how it sounds. That's the reason I'm even telling the story. Mm-hmm. But I've been doing this 28-day challenge, <laughs> and it's chair yoga. I, I understand. understand. Choga. I understand Choga, it sounds wimpy. I understand it sounds stupid. But I am telling you. What yoga does is they take muscles that you normally don't use and they make you work them. And next thing you know, you're five minutes into this ten minute thing, and you're like, "This hurts." I love uh, the idea that Russ doesn't know that we know what yoga is, well, and so he has to explain it to us. There's a dude yeah. that's driving in his <laughs> truck right equator? now, and he's never did done yoga, and he doesn't understand. So I want to explain to that guy who's, who's listening right now. Uh, so chair yoga has been more difficult Choga. than I thought. Uh, and, Choga. And and so anyway, Matt, you heard us talking about that. Uh, yes, sir. And so we do. Have have a chair yoga song a choga song and i co-wrote this with an actual yogi from india uh-huh. and uh so it, it's 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 great russ this is uh, so, uh, uh what are you what are you playing over there uh uh daisy del toro i have uh are these called maracas they are called maracas and then i don't know what this is that's called a tambourine a tambourine <laughs> <laughs> that's, called a tambourine. that's from argentina near the equator yeah yeah <laughs> and are you playing something ryan or not i'm playing with your heart russ oh. Oh. wow yeah. melted are you ready, Russ? I'm ready when Here you are, are, man. Hello and welcome, everybody, to the tale of a man who has spent time trying to get in shape. But this is not about him. This is about a chair <laughs> and the struggles that it went through. <laughs> Take it away, Matt. Oh, made in China for little butts, not made for big, big fat, fat guts. guts. Got a weight limit that's been ignored. Now the chair is on the floor. Try to do the downward dog ticket. But he was a big fat hog with arms and scissors yet again, like a big fat confused lesbian. Joga, put on your little chair. Hold on, you're almost there. Joga, just get through 10 minutes set. Come on, little chair, you can do it, I bet. <laughs> oh, the chair has had a bad time so far. <laughs> it is a bending, it is a saving, but the rush is still going very hard. Oh, Joga, the steel's a bending. Joga, Russ ass is offending. <laughs> Joga wasn't meant for this weight. Now the chair has met its fate. Gather round, everybody. It is time for the funeral of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> the chair is survived by his wife, the couch. And unfortunately, the table saw horrific things happen to the chair. It is here crying in the front row. <laughs> A moment of silence for the chair. Oh, Choga, the steel's a bending. Choga, Russ ass offending. Choga wasn't meant for the weight. Now the chair has gone and meant his fate. Yeah, he thought he was a yogi, but he ate too much pierogi. Now he's in a chair sitting like an old fogey. He's sweating and a hopping because he had too much muffin. It's a tiny chair with an ass that's stubborn. Choga, steel's a bending. Choga. Oh, Choga! What's it meant for this weight? Choga! The chair's meant its fate. Choga! The steel's a bending. Choga! Oh, the Choga! He wasn't meant for this weight. Now the chair has met his fate. Yes. Choga! 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 Well, I see. Woo. I see. I see. I see Matt got over the being mean thing. 
That was good. That was good. I like it. <laughs> the, the, the funeral was very sad, Russ. The, the table had seen some horrors of all the food on the table. I, I love uh, I love Ryan uh, when he does these things because I we've learned about Ryan. Certain things will trigger him to just speak in different accents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this particular time, he went from Indian, Scottish mm-hmm. to Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to offend everybody. <laughs> yeah, you were all over the board with that. It was Indian. It was Irish. It was. Uh, it was that was I good. love it, though. I just got excited. That was very good, fellas. I liked it. Very good. All right. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's your hot takes, your messages from the board. We'll take them uh, here in a second. If you ever want to leave us a hot message, all you got to do, or a hot take, all you got to do is go to the iHeartRadio app, you click on the microphone, and you can leave us a message, and we'll play those when we return. You're listening to the Mantras of the Morning. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Stupid. But done smartly. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a whole bunch of commotion on Florida's Turnpike. Authorities are clearing up an accident southbound before U.S. 27 exit 285. Traffic is backed up to Leesburg Main Toll Plaza. There's stop-and-go traffic on I-4 eastbound before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429. And watch out for an accident on Maitland Boulevard westbound at I-4. The right lane is blocked. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navaj Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here with my friend Judy from Life Imaging FLA. Judy, you know, when you told me about nine months ago you're going to be changing lives and saving lives, I had no idea it was going to be this impactful. I told you so, Jim. <laughs> you did, oh, you did yes, tell I me did. so. <laughs> yes, sir. Matter of fact, since May, 71 people have came in that we have found heart disease or issues in their full body that we've saved their lives. That's unbelievable, 71 people. Because here's the thing, with heart disease, you can't do that. Because 30% of the people who have that first symptom, it's sudden death. You have to be proactive. And the cool thing is, is your scan over at Life Imaging FLA allows you to do that. Absolutely. Take control of your own life. That's right. Be proactive today. Take control of your health. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. That is a $699 value, and it couldn't be easier. From your cell phone, call pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. And remember, when you get there, ask about the cancer screening as well. It is better to know now than worry about this tomorrow. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from my heart media. To Thank you for 40 unforgettable years. Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. 
pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. When it comes to power, trust the source. SolarSource.com. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for the rest of our Thursday. And today we'll actually see a lot of improvements. It will be a bit on the gusty side, but once these showers pass through, we'll begin to dry things out for our Thursday afternoon with temperatures warming to near 80 degrees. Sunshine will also be on the increase as we head into the weekend, though. It will be beautiful mid 70s for our highs on Friday, low 80s for Saturday and Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. messages and your your hot takes here in a minute or two. Angel, I want to bring this up to you, though. By, Get at uh, me. Hey, uh, welcome back to the Monsters of the Morning, Real Radio 104.1. Tickets go on sale tomorrow for the Monster Brew Bus, uh, brought to you by Wasi's Meat Market. Thank you, Wasi's Meat Market. We'll give you more information about that towards the end of the show. But yeah, tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then Earth Day Birthday is coming up. I'm going to tell you about that here in a second, because we got a, a Monster Chill Tent, which is uh, really cool. Uh, but before we do the uh, the hot takes, I want to remind you that uh, I want to thank uh, Daisy Del Toro for being here today. Matt Great song, uh, and Ryan, good uh, good job as well on the song. It was very funny. Um, uh, in, uh, uh, BMW has now sold their technology, something they've been working on for some time, and they sold the technology to a Chinese company, but it's the uh, BMW-powered flying car. Which I can Ooh. like when you think of BMW doing a flying car, like out of all the ones that have been tried and put together or whatever, you got to imagine. The BMW one is pretty badass, wouldn't you think? You would think so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they sold uh, all the technology. They said it's like a Back to the Future 2 looking thing. Like, it's really cool looking. And uh, they sold it to a Chinese company so they can, uh, they can actually build it. I wonder why BMW just wouldn't go ahead and, and build it, you know? Because uh, they built the Luftwaffe once, and it went bad. Yeah. And also, they're close to the equator, Russ, and so oh, yeah. they want to take it to China to that could be, get away yeah. from the equator. Yeah, that could be a good, good point. Uh, but uh, you know what though? Uh, looking at the BMW flying car, yeah, how's it look? It's not as cool as you would think. Oh, really? Is it more like a plane or is it actually a it's car? More Russ like wants a, a car. Yeah, this one. Uh, th- I think this one would, would break the uh, your rules, Russ. This is definitely a plane with four oh, wheels. I don't like those. I like the ones that hover. Like you know, you got to yeah. go like, like the Jetsons. What happened to your guy? Years ago, you always had that guy. What? Yeah, the dude, uh, He what was his name? Mueller. Uh, somebody Mueller was working on one for years, but now people have surpassed him. And his, mm. his never uh, Mueller? His never took off. Mueller. 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 His never took off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I don't get it. Uh, 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 
No. Oh, you were thinking <laughs> it. You were thinking it over there. <laughs> what are you doing to it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, so uh, so we're still, we know, we're going to come to a, an end of the show here in a second. We're going to have our meeting. So so we're good then. We have a place we might be able to do our Cinco de Mayo show. And then you're good with the Daisy Slap Shots where, where we don't, they got to donate money. Uh, and you, you give them a shot of tequila. You throw a pitcher of water in their face and you slap them. Uh, and all that money will go ahead and we'll donate to, it's the Volusia County Food Bank, your food bank for your church, right? Uh, yes, uh, you can get more information at uh, ubicfoodpantry.com. Food Pantry. Okay, yes. so so you'll accept our dirty money. I will accept your dirty money. <laughs> okay. okay. And the what, slap and, money. And so, and slap so money. Your violent I, money. I know that Amber Nova <laughs> said she would do it or as well. And then we've got definitely got Daisy Del Toro that will do it. I will That's ask great. Angelique and see if we can get her to participate. And then tomorrow I'll ask Savannah. But my God, any man that pays... $50 to get Savannah to slap them. You are a masochist. <laughs> like, That's right. They want to suffer. <laughs> I mean, you want to suffer. <laughs> if you'll let, I don't even know if Savannah will do it, but we'll ask her tomorrow when she comes in. So we'll have all, all the ladies uh, try to raise money for your food pantry. That would be amazing, Russ. Thank you so much. I like the idea. I like I like it when a plan comes together. Fellas, are you good with that? Absolutely. That's going to be fun. All right. All right. So that's going to be our Cinco de Mayo uh, event that we're putting together. We'll let you know where it's going to be. Everyone will be invited. We'll. I'm sure we'll have some uh, some great tequila uh, from oh, Tequila you're del have Toro. Plenty of tequila del Toro there. Okay. All right. Slapa de Mayo. Right. Slapa de Mayo. <laughs> Slapa de Mayo. All right. Uh, do we have any hot takes? Any messages today, Ryan? We do, and it's now the hot take pipeline that all these are coming down because it's sponsored by Frank Gay Service. Hey. Oh, yeah. sponsor. Hey. Sponsored. Hold on. Woo. Nice. We love sponsors. Oh, yes. Thanks That's... to Frank Gay Services. Who I you. actually use, uh, I got a yearly plan with them, and they just come out and they fix up what I need, and it's a, it's a, it's been a few things, Russ. It's been quite a few things. Well, that is great to hear. Thank you, Frank Gay, for sponsoring the, the segment, man. We love that. Hot take. It's time for the hot take. All right, hot take number one. If you want to leave a hot take, use the talk back function on the iHeartRadio app. You can hear yourself on them monsters. Hot take. Hey, Matt, how many Hail Marys do you have to do after you leave the show today? I mean, you are in the den of iniquity, aren't you? Yes. Great show, guys. <laughs> Love you, Daisy. Good question. How do you justify hanging out with uh, mis- yeah. miscreants mm. and, uh, and, you know. So did Jesus, though. I was going to say, even Jesus himself hung out with some miscreants there, Russ. Good point. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Twelve of them. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> Sorry. How many? Go ahead. Uh, uh, how many? How many? How many? No, no, you, 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 no. Until you hit the right well, number, we're stopping. Oh, shoot. How, so, how, many, how, many how many disciples? Apostles? Yes. Oh, it was 12. Yeah, it was There 12. you go. <laughs> wow, okay. I was about to be disappointed. You just made him do an extra Hail Mary. I, and I was a Sunday school teacher, and I just forgot. My goodness. No wonder those kids never yeah, learned. She was bragging yeah. on how she was a Sunday school teacher. And she, what, Daisy? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, for That's 10 right. years. Yes. And, and then she just said there were 10 apostles. <laughs> That's why she's not one anymore. They had to let her go. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's like the public school teacher equivalent. So how long, how long were you a Sunday school teacher? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. That's as many as apostles they have. <laughs> and it didn't sink in. One, one for every apostle. <laughs> so what, um, what, uh, what made you quit? They, um, you got fired? A, a story in the Bible that I had to teach. What story? It's the story about the two daughters taking the, a father into a cave and getting pregnant by him, getting him drunk and getting pregnant. And that's, I thought, I'm, not, that's a teaching, real Bible story, I'm yeah. not teaching this story to kids. Sorry. And Wait that a was minute. my last day as there, a Sunday school teacher. There's a story. I'm, obviously, I never read the Bible. There, you haven't read the Bible? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, it's, it's too many big words. I don't understand half of them. So, so there's a story about two women going into daughters. a Two daughters going into a cave with their dad, and they both come out pregnant? They get him drunk. And then they both abuse him and get pregnant. Oh, it's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the guy's fault. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, daughters, this right? yeah. did so, not make any sense in any logical way. So, so. Matt, what's what's the what's the, the uh, what's the meaning behind that? When they're, they're obviously all of these stories have you know uh, there's some sort of a meaning to it, some sort everything, of everything. Everything in the Bible rests as an example, and some are bad examples. <laughs> what was and, that? Uh, what was that example so of how women that, can be uh, conniving? No. Well, um, yeah, wow. I've, I've, I've seen this story in a very different way on Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> so the, the way the she cities, describes it, it's a women's fault for getting the dad drunk. The, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed, and they thought the whole world was coming to an end. So yes, they got their dad drunk and had children by him, and that's where you get the Moabites. The word Moab means from father. So yeah, there you go. It's a terrible story. 
<laughs> it's sort of like, you know, we, we and teach. And that we, was the reason we, I quit being a Sunday school we, teacher. We teach kids about, like, you know, Noah's Ark and all the nice animals, whatever, not about millions of people drowning. You know what I mean? There yes. are certain right. things you just don't tell kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, highlight. And Noah's Ark was all the same family that recreated the whole universe, which means. They were doing it. Just saying. <laughs> well, if you, you can take that all the way back to Adam and Eve. Or just, they were doing yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, so there you go. And welcome <laughs> Anyways, to Bible Lessons with Them Monsters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to hear about Argentina's Adam near the yeah. equator. Oh, oh, that's, about... the, that's the only thing people want to talk about, by the way. Hot take. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Hello, monsters. This is Dan. Russ, you got to take a class about <laughs> cultures or geography or something. Argentina. <laughs> Argentine is not close to the equator. <laughs> People not are so really. upset. Seriously. And I love Daisy. You're incredible. <laughs> Squirrels, monsters. Squirrels. You would not believe we have had so hun- many texts. Hundred- That's why I kept saying it. We've had hundreds of texts. Like, Argentina's nowhere near the equator. I don't care. I, just, I don't know where Argentina is. It's, some, I, I, it's down south somewhere. It's all I know. <laughs> Way down south in Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> Hot thing. <laughs> Monsters, monsters, morning, morning. Sorry for the background noise. We're up on a construction site, but we just had to jump in on this one about the Argentinian. So, <laughs> yeah, I work with the Argentinian brother, and it's the same thing, man. I think he made the best um, Latino to all of them. <laughs> and um, they claim that they are the closest to true Spaniards, as in, you know, originally from Spain. And all other, all other Latinos are subsets. They are the only true Spaniards. There you go. Wow. That's a that's 100% true. That's I, I forgot to mention that. So uh, with all the things that we said about Argentinians, if you speak to a Spaniard from Madrid, they're going to let you know that uh, basically all of Latin America comes from Spain. We are all like, you know, for you guys, for you, Russ, uh, Ireland is your thing. Ryan, uh, you know, Denmark or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> the Spanish like to uh, claim that, you know, this was our imprint of the world, and it's all the Spanish-speaking countries. Let me okay. ask you a question uh, that I've never thought about before out loud that's probably inappropriate. But, okay, so, yeah, like, I, I live in America. Yeah. I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. Like, I will kind of claim Denmark as, like, a his- yeah, right, right. historical reference, but I don't see a lot of people from, like, Latin cultures claiming Spain necessarily. No, uh, uh, Spain was an, uh, uh, they were imperialist. And so, and uh, to that point, like, uh, for example, uh, Mexico currently, uh, the nation of Mexico, is trying to get their gold back from Spain. Wow. Spain, like much like a lot of these other imperial countries, went and went through the, you know, Latin America and, and all these and took all the riches, took all the gold, took gold from Puerto Rico, took, and so these countries are now petitioning and trying to do get the get their artwork get their artifacts Good luck. get, get mm. the in some cases it, it works out so because yeah uh, there's been some countries that do come to an agreement and they understand the significance of these things and they start getting that stuff back hmm. it'll be interesting to see if there's anybody who's able to do it with spain hot day what's up monsters i just want to say i couldn't get through with the calls this is dustin from dland i just want to say i think that government and uh, religion needs to be separated. Amen. And the government only uses religion as a tool, and it needs to be taken away. So, no, it's stupid that Donald Trump is doing this. I talking about the uh, the Bible. That, he needs uh, to it, check that what's it, in his tire. It does yeah. have the it does have the words to you know God bless the USA by Lee Greenwood in it. I mean, you know, you might need to know that. <laughs> I mean, you know, might might be helpful. Might I be don't helpful, know. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, I really like this guy's super novel idea of separation of church and state. I'm sure he just came up with that now. Oh, wait, it's the whole point. It's a good idea. Ugh, hot take. <laughs> you should do that. But speaking of speaking of suckers, I mean, there's a sucker born every day. Uh-oh. Hot take. Okay. If for us, will fall for hydrogen water. He'll definitely fall for Trump's Bible. Wow. Ouch. Russ. That, is, that is true. Uh, Russ did way, fall for hydrogen water. I'm drinking it every day. I'm drinking more hydrogen water than I ever have, and I'm feeling very healthy, and I'm doing yoga. So, you know, <laughs> you take that with you. And I'm not buying a Trump Bible. I, I, got, a, I got a striper Bible. I'm fine. Ouch. You got to like that. <laughs> Hot take. Daisy, from the time you got on this station, I thought, hey, this chick is fun. You know, I like her. She's got good energy. She's a fun person. You know, I thought about if I was a single man, could I have a Daisy Del Toro? And I mm. thought, yeah, I'm probably too much for her. And you're starting to make me change my mind a little bit. But 
for the most part, I still think I'd be a little bit too much. Oh, oh. Now, just, you oh, kept sorry. that. He didn't, she didn't say what it was. That's right. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's an itchy trigger finger. Uh, yeah. And particularly when, <laughs> yeah. she's, uh, when she's in here. Yeah. We have post-traumatic stress daisy. <laughs> And we have to so, be ready at all times. You realize what he was doing, right? That is that is slow rolling you. That's yeah. that, that's him telling you, oh, you couldn't handle this. He's that's a player mentality, which makes you go, oh, I can handle. It. Let me show you. I can uh, see he was playing. Why are you, you blowing up the man's spot, dude? I'm just trying and to. Look. Like, what are you doing? Because she didn't yeah. know what was going on. Yeah, don't don't worry about her. She's good. She's <laughs> she, she's a strong, independent woman. Yeah. I'm worried about you. That you think it's all right to blow up a player's spot, she, player? She, she started yelling. Out inches she can handle and hey, stuff like hate that. Hate the game, not the player, <laughs> yeah, man. What are you doing? You know the rules. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That was like, if I was a single man, I'm not though. But like, I would be too much. No, I wouldn't. Or would I be? Oh, I <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I got I a lady. Yeah. It's just like the Jedi, the Jedi trick on top of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on top of the Jedi. That was the, the that double was some, Jedi. That was some Yoda uh, junk. There, go ahead. Yep. Uh, Russ does chair Yoda. Hot take. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. There's old Ruta Baker one banger here. What? And uh I can't hear their voice through the text. Rumor has it on the chat machine thing over here I'm looking at on the, the tube of you. Oh my god, just use your real voice. Just dump the uh, dumpsters, bro. Daisy Del Toro's gonna have a damn jumping jack session. <laughs> well that would be fun. <laughs> jumping jacks with Daisy. Yeah, if you missed the the first segment or two of the show, Daisy started jumping up and down on the camera and then realized what she was doing. That's right. <laughs> on the chair. You were trying to wake up, right? That's right. Because it was yeah, early. Yeah, it was so, early. So mm-hmm. she went from doing the jumping jacks to just drinking tequila <laughs> at <laughs> seven fifty. And she, and she, yeah, and she broke the internet at seven fifty. Yep, and that that's how that's how that goes. Uh and the last hot take. Hot take. Good morning, monsters. Hello. How do I feel about Donald Trump selling Bibles? I don't know. How do you feel? That will be like Epstein selling children books. Oh, damn. Wow. I don't know if that's the same analogy. I don't know if that's the same. I, 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 it might not be literally the same, but I get what he's trying yeah, to put down. I, I see. Yeah. What, I see what you're. I see where you're going. I think, but you might be. Yeah, it might be a little Yikes. different. Any. And those uh, are the hot takes brought to you by Frank Gay Services, Russ. Thank you, Frank Gay Services, for sponsoring the hot takes. That's awesome. Um. Uh. So, uh, Daisy, what you got going on? Anything going on in the next couple of weeks uh, for the uh, the uh, tequila? Yes, I do. Uh, we're going to be at the Mexican Consulate Expo, which mm. is a first annual involving Colombia and Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. I think it's super amazing because it's finally collaborating with other Hispanic nations to import great products into the USA the right way. And I'm proud of the Mexican Consulate for doing that. Very wow. nice. Is okay. that open to uh, everybody? And, get, and they go to the Mexican consul- consulate website to get more information? That's right. Okay. It, it's going to be the 16th, 17th, and 18th of April. And it's anyone who has a business or wants to import products from other countries. Um, we have an import company. I have an import company. I know I have a lot of business. Okay. You got a lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah. So we can import products from anywhere in the world. People won't believe it. She's a very serious business person. Like she's got, <laughs> she's a director, a producer. Or she does all kinds of stuff. She just comes in and goofs it up with us so she can get a laugh for a couple hours, of right? Of course. Cause Daisy, I want to import my own brand of chunklas. <laughs> <laughs> I and, can help you. Okay, and so we've decided, so when we do the fundraising event, we're going to do the uh, da- Daisy Slap Shot, where, where you, you give them a shot of tequila, uh, you throw a, a pitcher of uh, water in their face, and you slap them. They, they donate money for that. The money's going to go to uh, your, uh, your the food The UBIC food, food pantry. There you go. Okay. Wow. Thank it, you, Monsters. Yeah, man, sure. We'll see how much money we can raise that day. What else you got going on, Matt? Anything? This Saturday, uh, I'll be at Outriggers in New Smyrna at 5 oh. to 9, playing uh, playing your favorite song. So come on out and see that. And for more information, monstermusicman.com. Thank Out, you. Outriggers is in New Smyrna. New Smyrna. Yeah, I've been there before. It's a great place. It is a great place. Great atmosphere, great food, and, you know, come see me play some music. It's awesome. Uh, Angel, what you got? Uh, you can hit me up on any social media platform. It's Official Angel. If you're looking for a DJ for any of your events or you got something coming up, hit me up at angel at realradio.fm. I'm available. I'm booking dates right and left. And uh, make sure you check out what the 
the Hells Angels listening to Friday nights from 9 p.m. to midnight. Tomorrow is Good Friday, and something that's good about tomorrow is at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., tickets go on sale for the Monster Brew Bus. It's brought to you and presented by Wasi's Meat Market. Thank you so much, Wasi's, for doing that. And we're going to roll on uh, uh, It's April the 13th. It's a Saturday. We're going to three different breweries. We're going to go to Brew or uh, it's, uh, Brewlando. Uh, we get there around 11.45. Then we go to Toll Road Brewing, get there around 1.45. And then we're going to go to Claremont Brewing at about 4 o'clock. We're going to be on a beautiful bus, thanks to our friends at MCA yeah, Transportation. Man. And Jersey Mike's going to provide provide lunch. And you get a T-shirt. And it, you're going to have Russ and Bo and Ryan and Angel and Jack Bradshaw all on one bus. And who knows who else may uh, show up. So it's going to be a great time. Get your tickets tomorrow at 10. Good luck, because I know that a lot of people want to go, and it's only about 45, 50 people that can get on that bus. So get your tickets when you can. Ryan, what you got? Oh, man, you can follow me at Ryan Holmes Common. And if you want to be a part of the show after the show's over, we do have a Facebook group. It's called YouTube Monsters. Go ahead and join that, and then uh, we would chat with you all day long. Very nice. Stay tuned for the News Junkie right after the Monsters. Then at 3 o'clock, is the Jim Colbert Show. We're back tomorrow for a good Friday edition of the Monsters from Matt, Daisy Del Toro, Angel, and Ryan Holmes. And the leader of this mess of merry men. Three hot dudes and one bouncy lady. Russ, whole lot of world to rock Rollins. Hey, guys, thank you so much for listening. We ain't got to go home. But we got to get the hell up on out of here. Adios, amigos.